Hi, I'm Pastor Jeremy. Once again on the Voice of Faith broadcast, we're here together with Pastor Lisa. We're excited. This week we're going to be talking about how God restores. He's a God of restoration. And uh, we're just so excited about this series this week. And we're glad that you've joined us today. Amen. I want to start with the scripture over in Psalms 23, verses 1 through 3. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. And this is the part we're going to be looking at. He restoreth my soul. You know, have you ever had something in your life, maybe your soul, your mind that needed, you know, to be restored? You know, many times we go through things in life. We have um, experiences that are hurtful. Uh, painful. Sometimes we experience loss, the loss of a job, the loss of a home, the loss of a marriage, uh, sure. maybe even the loss of a person. And you know, I think sometimes um, people have a misconception that if you're if you're spiritual enough, right. or you know, you're big enough in faith, or whatever, that you won't have any kind of painful experiences sure. in life or just disappointments i yeah. mean it, it's not always something that you lost i mean you deal with you know i i like to break it down like this you deal with three different things first you're in a cursed world and so in this world you're going to have a lot of trouble but jesus said be of good cheer i've overcome the world and number two you deal with an enemy who's he's come to steal kill and destroy mm-hmm. That's right. and so he's out to get you and to take from you And then thirdly, you deal with other people's wills. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes, you know, just through disappointment, they do things to you uh, based on their willingness to do that and they hurt Mm -hmm. you. And sometimes emotionally you experience um, not just loss, but hurt too, or you're you're broken in your heart, you're Mm -hmm. broken in your soul. And so God says, I'll restore your soul. Amen, amen. You know, I love that. I do too, because you know, uh, we do face things in life. Right that are unlovely, that God is there to bring restoration. Right. You know, I remember um, Old Roberts, you know, he had lost his daughter and he went on television and, and you know, he said something. He said, you know, he said, everybody's trying to help me yeah. through this. He, yeah. goes, he goes, this hurts so bad. He said, I don't even know how to tell you how bad this hurts. And he said, my wife is trying to help me and my family and my friends. Right. But he looked up to God and he said, God, you're the one who right. can restore my soul. You're the one who can put strength back into me. And so I just want to, you know, really let you know today that if you're there right. and you're hurting so bad and nobody's really been able to help you the way sure. you need to be helped, you have a God that cares about you and you have a God that will restore you back to your strength, restore you back to peace, restore you back to your joy. Hallelujah. You know, I, uh, you know, not only is he the God of restoration, but the Bible says he's beautiful for a situation. Mm -hmm. And one of the scriptures that we wrote down here today was in second Peter three, nine. And I know this scripture is talking about salvation. Uh, But I want you to see the first part of this verse. It says that God's not willing that any should perish. Notice that again. God's not willing that any should perish. In other words, you know, uh, he wants to fix what you've lost. He wants to repair what you've lost. In fact, it's the will of God that there's never any perishing in your life. And even if there is, you know, he's a God of mercy, number one. That means, I like this definition, mercy is you not getting what you do deserve. And he's a God of grace. And grace is you getting what you don't deserve or what you didn't earn. And sometimes we lose things or we experience hurt because of us doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. But God is so merciful that he doesn't want you to perish. And he's always there in your situation to fix that for you because he loves you that much. And uh, I think that we serve an amazing God when it comes to that. He's always willing to restore you in every, in any situation. And, uh, you know, even when you do lose something or you experience loss, the devil will still kind of magnify that and make you think, well, that's the end for you. 
And, uh, you know, it's not the end. No. Just because he calls it the end, it's not the end. And God always has a way to restore to you, yeah. restore back to you, refuel you, and to repair uh, those things in your life that are lost. Amen. He's a wonderful God, and he's always in the fixing business. He sure is. He sure is. Well, listen, take, take that away today, that God loves you, he cares about you, and he wants to restore things in your life. You know, it might be a big thing. It might be something you don't even think God even cares about, like a material thing that you've lost. But I'm telling you, if it concerns your life, God cares about it. Yeah. God wants to yeah. restore it back to your life. So hold on to that today. Take hold of that and say, that's for me. Yeah. My God is a God of restoration. And I thank you, Lord, that you bring restoration to my life. Hallelujah. Amen. I like that. I do. Lay hold of that with your faith <laughs> Amen. and your confession and say, He is my God yes. of restoration today. If you've experienced any loss, get your words lined up with restoration in your life. I believe that if 2020 was a year of loss for you, Boy, yeah. there's still one more month left sure. and God only needs one moment in your life to restore back to you what you've lost through this year. Mm -hmm. So remember this, God loves you and he is ready and willing and eager to restore back to you and give more to you than what you've lost. Mm -hmm. We love you, we call you blessed and we'll see you again next time on The Voice of Faith. Thank you so much for watching today. As you know, with everything happening today, it is vital that Faith World is able to continue to spread Jesus. We cannot do this without you, the church. So at the end of each video, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, please email, message us, or call the church so that we can pray with you. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we will see you tomorrow. But before you go, here are some announcements so you can see what's happening at Faith World Church. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Joey and these are your church announcements. Share the love of Jesus with a child this Christmas. Just select a giving tree tag in the foyer with information about each child. Tell us what tag you're taking and bring the gift unwrapped to the lobby December 13th. There will be no Wednesday midweek service on December 23rd and December 30th. Tune in those nights online to watch our Voice of Faith program and enjoy celebrating the holidays with your family. we will celebrate the birth of Jesus with music, special presentations, and an inspiring message from Pastor that will bless you this Christmas season. After the service, we have a surprise for all the FWC kids, including giveaways of this year's top Christmas toys. So have your kids register that morning in the lobby. Your family does not want to miss this special service. Sunday, December 13th, we invite everyone to wear their ugliest Christmas sweater to church. There will even be a prize for the most amazingly ugly sweater. So start planning your sweater today. Stick around after our Christmas joy service, December 13th for a few slices of pizza. This is a great opportunity to get to know other people from Faith World. There's no charge, just stay and enjoy lunch at the church. Faith World Youth, don't miss our annual Christmas party Friday, December 18th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Hemet campus. Wear your PJs and bring a wrapped white elephant gift and board games. We will serve you dinner and it will be a great time. Help us serve our community with food on December 12th and 19th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Hemet campus. This is a great opportunity to share the gospel and to show people that Jesus really cares about their life. We will be getting groceries ready in Hemet December 10th and 17th at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. The morning team arrives at 10 a.m. to set up and the evening team arrives at 6 p.m. to bag the groceries. Join us as we serve. Join us December 20th at 6 p.m. for a beautiful one hour service to worship together as a family. Receive communion and celebrate Jesus as the light of the world. 
Invite your friends and family to come to this amazing holiday service. In the month of December, grab a vision card and write down your vision and the things your heart sees for the coming year. On January 3rd, we will bring these things to the Lord and release our faith together in prayer. It's one of our favorite Sundays of the year. Don't miss it. Thanks for being with us today. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and join our other online broadcasts and services we have throughout the week on our YouTube channel. You can also continue to sow financial seed by giving on the church app and by our text to give. And make sure that you stay updated month to month by grabbing our church bulletin on the way home. Thanks for being with us today and have a blessed week.